Welcome back to Nippert Stadium as it is time for Hard Hat Wednesday and another construction and renovation update. Tom Glitter, happy to chat with project manager Bob Martin as a lot of progress all over Nippert Stadium. We are on the west side, but let's start on the east side, Bob, where bathrooms, concession stands, all of that now very much showing shape, including building to that second level up there in the plaza by the Linder Center. Yeah, this week they uh, set some uh, open, they're called open barred steel joists for the floor deck for the second floor. So we're transitioning from concrete to steel now, which is a good thing. We got uh, concrete going up on the second floor in the plaza concession. That's supposed to happen next week. So the slab on grade over there for the upper level concession will be taking shape here real soon too. The folks who've been parking in the Varsity Village garage notice a big change because they lost spots in the Varsity Village garage. That's because a gigantic women's restroom has gone in and that should really facilitate and provide opportunities for the ladies to get to the bathroom quickly and right back into the stands next fall. Yeah, that's the biggest women's restroom in the whole complex. It's huge. I can't remember the count, but uh, I, I got lost in there. There's a lot of masonry work going on and there's, uh, there's a lot of good uh, space for the women. All right, we'll swing back over here to the west side and you can see right around us aluminum railings on all level. We're on the club level right now, but throughout this facility, the permanent aluminum railings are now in. Yeah, they're really sharp looking. They're clean, they're strong. Um, and quite frankly, in the bowl, we're gonna be changing those colors from red to, to aluminum color as well. So it'll all it'll all look like it's in one color. So that'll be uh, a nice little treat. But uh, the railings are going in all over the place here and they're, they're looking good, they're looking sharp. Obviously the most noticeable thing about Never Stadium is the presence of glass on all levels. Glass is not complete, but it's very much getting there, which helps you guys out because it encloses the structure. Glass has got a really strong momentum now. In about two weeks, we should be wrapping up our enclosure and concurrent with that, we got a whole lot of drywall and uh, ceiling framing and finishes going on in the inside already. So we're running down two tracks, but the exterior wall uh, has made a lot of progress over the last couple of weeks. In fact, a lot of the temporary walls have come down. So as we walk through, we'll be able to see a lot of the natural light starting to come in. Well, and that, in regards to the walls inside, taping, even a little painting, we're seeing tile in some of the restrooms start to arrive and, and get a little closer to finishing touches. Right, uh, new trade started this week. Our painter is on board uh, starting to prime walls. Our uh, ceiling, uh, uh, well, I should say our, our tile contractors uh, working full speed ahead in the fifth floor restrooms. Got tile on the wall and on the floors going in now. And, um, well, there was one other one that I can't quite remember who uh, started, but uh, that'll come to me. All right, fair enough. Now let's go down to the ground level. Bearcat Plaza got a lot of work early on, then it sat for a while, was used as a stagey area, and in the last few weeks, a lot more work to the point now where you guys are ready to pour the ceiling of that structure come Saturday. Right, Bearcat Plaza in the video will show that the, the roof deck, which is actually the, the, the terrace level of Bearcat Plaza, uh, will be poured this Saturday and so uh, next time we're out here we're going to see uh, the makings of a, a wide open space and that'll soon be backfilled and the granite will go back, go back over on the top of it. Also coming up in the next few weeks we'll see a few changes to light, existing light structures as one of the poles will be adjusted and new fixtures will be put on the existing lighting. This Saturday our first light uh, pole will be uh, refitted with uh, some new lights at the top and um, that's it over here on the west side. On the east side, we have a fair amount of work that we're still logistically trying to work out because it's incredibly tight and we need big cranes and stuff. So, But this Saturday will be the first one. And uh, you asked earlier about when the lights are going to be shining. I don't know yet, but next time we talk, hopefully I'll have that answer for you. All right, it sounds like a good plan. So next Hard Hat Wednesday, we'll know when the lights come on. We know this. Come September, when all the lights are on and the Bearcats are out here playing, they will be well lit because plenty of new lighting going in for that. Bob, as always, we appreciate the time. Thank you very much. Good to have you. All right, that's Bob Martin. I'm Tom Glitter at Nippert Stadium, where we keep you up to speed with Hard Hat Wednesday right here on Bearcats TV.